The Oxley Wild Rivers National Park is a protected national park that is located in the Northern Tablelands region of New South Wales, Australia and the Port Macquarie Hastings City Council and Walkershire Councils. The 145,223 hectare park is situated 445 kilometres north of Sydney and is named in memory of the Australian explorer John Oxley, who passed through the area in 1818 and is one of the largest national parks in New South Wales. The park is part of the Hastings Maclay Group World Heritage Site Gondwana Rainforests of Australia inscribed in 1986 and added to the Australian National Heritage List in 2007. The Oxley Wild Rivers National Park was World Heritage listed in recognition of the extensive dry rainforest that occurs within the park, and the associated rich biodiversity that includes several rare or threatened plants and animals. There are at least 14 waterfalls in the park. Green Gully Hut for thousands of years, the northern table lands in these valleys were the tribal lands of the Dangati Aboriginal people, whose descendants are now concentrated in the lower Maclay River. Some marked trees have been found and a limestone cave shelter has been excavated near Kundurong Brook. In 1818 explorer John Oxley and his party tried to descend the Apsley Valley, but steep gorges blocked the way until they proceeded around the head of the Apsley Falls. After Oxley passed through the Cedar Getters were the first white people to penetrate these remote gorges and valleys in search of Australian red cedar which was floated down river to Kempsey. Restored early 20th century bark hut constructed by the Brennan family for mustering trips there have been cattle grazing through the Maclay River gorges, called the Falls, since the 1840s. With mustering points occurring at Top Creek, Middle Yards, Kundurong, Left Hand, Oven Camp, Udale's Hut, Green Gully, Eurowich River, and Front Table Land. The recently restored Middle Yards Hut was once part of the 32,000 hectare East Kundurong cattle station on the Maclay River. In the late 19th century several gold and antimony mines were established around the rim of the gorges, at places such as Halls Peak and Hillgrove. As well as two ambitious hydroelectric schemes to power them, the remains of which can be seen today along the Styx River and at Gara Gorge. In 1976 the Apsley Maclay Gorges were identified as being of true wilderness quality. At that stage the public protection offered to the area was limited to two small reserves in the south, and a few local council-run recreation areas at sites such as Woolamambi Falls, Dangers, and Apsley Falls. With future land use undecided, the NSW Electricity Commission began surveying the Apsley Valley for a hydroelectric scheme in the late 1970s. The Apsley Gorge National Park of 6,718 hectares was gazetted followed by the 3,456 hectare Yarrowich Gorge National Park soon after. During late 1981 the track to the Apsley River at Riverside was improved and Elcom installed a river gauging station. The project was shelved following a land use study recommending a national park be established. In 1986 the park was gazetted to foster nature conservation, cultural heritage and tourism on the northern table lands. In 1989 East Kundurong station of 30,400 hectares passed to the National Parks and Wildlife Service and was proclaimed the Oxley Wild Rivers National Park. In 1994 Oxley Wild Rivers National Park was inscribed on the Register of World Heritage Sites, as part of the Central Eastern Rainforest Reserves of Australia, subsequently renamed as the Gondwana Rainforests of Australia. Later 1,850 hectares of Winterbourne State Forest, also known as the Big Lease, was added to the wilderness. The remaining 1,560 hectares of Winterbourne and 1,075 hectares of Enmore State Forests are to be added to the National Park. Further inclusions include Green Gully Headwaters and 1,439 hectares of leasehold land in the Lower Chandler River Gorge. The Maclay Gorge's wilderness area was declared in 1996 and extended in 1997 and covers over 50,000 hectares, mainly in the central part of the park. In December 2009 a lightning strike started a bushfire in the Udales Hut area. The hut was unaffected, but 1,500 hectares of inaccessible steep country was burnt out before it was brought under control. Another lightning strike started a large bushfire in the Reedy Creek region of the park. This fire has burnt out over 8,000 hectares of rough country. Woolamambi and Chandler Falls The Oxley Wild Rivers National Park lies along the Great Escarpment between the Northern Tablelands and the East Coast and has dramatic gorges and waterfalls, extensive wilderness and dry rainforest. The main rivers in the National Park are the Apsley River, Maclay River, Woolamambi River, Chandler River, Tia River, Styx River, Gara River, Eurowich River, Oki River and the Kundurong Brook. There are a number of waterfalls situated throughout the park including, Woolamambi Falls, Apsley Falls, 
Tia Falls and Dangers Falls as well as numerous cascades. The waterfalls in the park are at their best after rains and the main ones are accessible by car. Dangers Gorge, near Armadale the formation of the area began with muddy sediments under ancient oceans that were changed by heat and pressure into hard rocks, then uplifted by movements of the continental plate and volcanic eruptions. This resulted in the formation of the Great Dividing Range, an undulating plateau that sloped gently to the west and fell away steeply to the east. Erosion by wind, rain, storms and ice over millions of years carved out the plateaus of the northern tablelands, and rivers and streams. Gradually cut back the eastern edge of the tableland creating deep gorges that eventually formed one continuous escarpment. The jagged scarp is slowly retreating west and this movement can be seen today in the erosion of steep cliffs at places like Wolomombi, Dangers, and Apsley Gorges. Stinging Tree The Apsley Maclay Gorges are a converging point for moister eastern coastal and dry western floras, and some 950 native plant species have been identified, of which 36 are rare or threatened. The rare plants found include, Gravillia obtusiflora, Acacia blakei and Acacia ingrami which grows at Dangers Gorge. Some Australian red cedar trees may also be seen in the more remote locations. Threatened flora of the area includes the wedge leaf guinea flower, Gravillia betalana and Haca fraseri. Hillgrove spotted gum may be seen south of Hillgrove and in the Big Lease, northeast of Walka. The beautiful Caledonia orchid has been spotted at Long Point. Dry rainforests in the Orne contain at least 187 plant species and they are visible as dense, dark green patches of brush box, favoring hollows where there is shelter from wind and sun. The adaptable bird's nest fern grows in a variety of sites as an epiphyte on large trees, independently growing on the forest floor or attached to rocks. Other plants that could be found in or around dry rainforests include, native rosella, gorge mock olive, bry chiton discolor, moriton bay fig. Native olive, red camilla, scentless rosewood and shatterwood. The open forest and woodlands are dominated by various trees. The main species are, and go for a floribunda, eucalyptus retinens, eucalyptus andrusii, eucalyptus caliginosa, eucalyptus levipinia, eucalyptus meliodora and wild cherry. Eucalyptus teratocornis identified by the bark on its trunk which sheds to expose white, gray or bluish patches may also be seen, too. Epiphytic orchids may be observed growing in some of these trees, as well. The hazardous stinging tree is found in various locations throughout the park. This is a dangerous plant and physical contact with it should be avoided. The stems and leaves are coated with fine hairs which when embedded in the skin cause severe pain and irritation for prolonged periods. Smilax australis is another plant to be avoided as it has prickly climbing stems that are up to 8 meters long and will catch in clothing or the skin. The understory is often sparse except for occasional acacia, Bursaria spinosa, Xantheria and the Cassinia, Gbung. Pomaderis lanigera, Jacksonia scoparia and Prostanthera are the most common species in the area. Because the conditions are extreme on the cliffs, quite a number of rare and uncommon shrubs are found there. These include, Broadleaf hopbush, Dodonia ceratifolia, Gravillia betalana, Gravillia obtustiflora, Haca fraseri, climbing fig, orchids, and Westringia sp. Burgia ingrami is an endangered species of shrub that is found in two locations, growing among rocks or in thin soils close to cliff edges in dry woodland with she oaks, wattles, and tea trees. Green Gully Area, Yarrowich, NSW. The park is rich in fauna, with over 350 species recorded including 55 mammals. Oxley Wild Rivers National Park is a major refuge for the brush-tailed rock wallaby, with the largest confirmed population in the Green Gully area of Yarrowich. Other species found in the park include bandicoots, bats, koalas, wombats and numerous small ground mammals. Quals, common brush-tailed possums, sugar gliders, platypus, echidnas, wedge-tailed eagles, peregrine falcons and dingoes may also be seen. Over 173 bird species have been recorded in Oxley Wild Rivers National Park. There have been 38 reptile and 19 amphibian species recorded in Oxley Wild Rivers National Park. Skinks, gannas, tortoises, lizards, snakes, frogs and fish occur in the park, particularly on the river flats. A number of fish species have been recorded. Notable is the speckled longfin eel, which breeds in the ocean with the juveniles eventually returning to the Apsley Maclay River system. Twelve species listed as threatened under the Threatened Species Conservation Act 1995 are found in the wilderness area. There are five mammals, four birds, glossy black cockatoo, greater sooty owl. 
superb fruit dove and turquoise parrot, one reptile, and two frogs. The national park is also home to the Maclay River tortoise, a recently discovered species, and a rare mammal, the Hastings River mouse, which is considered to be an imminent danger of extinction. Car access to the park is mainly via the Waterfall Way, east of Armadale and Oxley Highway, east of Walka. All roads to visitor facilities are suitable for conventional cars except the Ford WD tracks to Riverside, Udale's Hut, and East Cunderong. A permit and key is required to gain vehicle access to these three sites. There are several visitor entry points where visitors may enter with a 2WD car and camp overnight, Paradise Rocks and Apsley River from the terrace. Riverside the Apsley Falls are located 20 km east of Walka, 1 km off the Oxley Highway. Here the northern tablelands plateau drops precipitously into the rugged gorges carved out by the Aspley and Upper Maclay Rivers which meander through the park. There is a 52-meter steel stairway leading to an observation deck where there are great views of the deep gorge and the falls. There are two large falls, with two walking tracks taking in the gorge rim walk and the Oxley Walk, picnic facilities and camping area for overnight stays. On December 28, 2009 the steel footbridge leading to gorge rim walk was washed away. The three drops of the Tia Falls The Tia Falls, located near Tia, 38 km east of Walka and 6 km off the Oxley Highway. The turnoff for this road is 19 km past the Apsley Falls turnoff. There are waterfalls, with two walking tracks taking in the falls and gorge walk, being 1. 5 km return, and the Tiara Walk, being 5 km return, picnic facilities and bush campsites are available for overnight stays. The Bud's Mare Campground is 44 km east of Walka via the Muna Plains Road. The route includes 8 km of unpaved roads, which is unsuitable for standard 2 WD cars, because of washouts. Bud's Mare is set in bushland and a short walk takes you to the lookout, which has extensive views over Gondwana Dry Rainforest in the Apsley River Gorge. Across the first gorge is the obvious feature of Paradise Rocks and to the north it is possible to see Round Mountain and Point Lookout. Heading to the right from the shelter shed is a track to a vantage point that overlooks Roosden Creek Gorge. There is a good 8km walk from here down the ridge to the riverside visitor area on the Apsley River, but it is only for well-prepared bushwalkers with a sound knowledge of steep country. Return up the same track or follow the road from riverside up to the top. The return routes are a demanding climb, suitable for fit, experienced bushwalkers only, carrying ample provisions. Alternatively, a Ford WD vehicle pickup may be arranged at Riverside. Facilities here include, campsites, toilets, picnic tables, wood barbecues, a supply of firewood. An extensive gorge, the Woolamombi Falls Gorge houses two waterfalls, Woolamombi Falls itself, and Chandler Falls. Located 40 km east of Armadale along the Waterfall Way, visitors to the gorge are attracted by the rugged scenery, picnic sites, walks along the gorge rim trails, or hikes to the gorge riverbed. Facilities include drinking water, toilets, a shelter shed and fireplace and bush campsites for overnight stays. Dangers Falls, near Armadale The Dangers Gorge and Falls are located 22 km southeast of Armadale along the Dangerslay Road and are home to the beautiful Dangers Falls, and the starting point for several great walks. McDurdy's Walk, 6. 9 km, 3 hours, medium difficulty. From the car park at Dangers Gorge, cross the river and follow the track to the lookout above the falls and Rock Wallaby Lookout. The track follows the gorge rim along a ridge to McDurdy's Lookout. There are good places for picnics, camping and bushwalking. Salisbury Waters Walk, 14 km, 8 hours, difficult. This walk is an excellent introduction to gorge bushwalking, and can be undertaken in one strenuous or two leisurely days. From Dangers Car Park cross the river, and follow the track past the turnoff to McDurdy's, heading out along the ridge is signposted to Serum Hill Lookout. Descending 500 meters to Salisbury Waters. The Long Point Campground is accessible via the historic gold mining town of Hillgrove from the Waterfall Way, 32 kilometers east of Armadale to the Hillgrove Turnoff. Head south from Hillgrove for 17 kilometers along the gravel road. Located in a small forest clearing, this campground gives ready access to the easy one. 5 kilometer Cassinia Walk, the medium difficulty 6 kilometer Chandler View Circuit Walk and the 33-kilometer difficult long point to Woolamombi overnight bushwalk. For the latter walk a vehicle drop-off and pick-up and suitable equipment are needed. Basic track notes are available from the NPWS Armadale office. Long Point has two formal lookouts along the Chandler View Circuit Walk and Cassinia Walk offering views over the Chandler and Maclay Gorges. 
Facilities include a car park, shelter shed with fireplace, picnic tables with small wood barbecues, tank water, pit toilets, an information display and bush camping with firewood supplied. Four WD vehicles are permitted to access Riverside, Udale's Hot and East Kundurong Homestead where a permit and key are required. Riverside and Udale's Hut require a low-range 4WD vehicle and trailers are not permitted. The Riverside rest area is on the banks of the Apsley River, 50 kilometers east of Walka and is reached by the Muna Plains Road. The trail from Bud's Mare rest area is a steep gravel track and a 4WD with low range is necessary. Trailers are not permitted. Fees apply, a locked gate key and permit are essential to use this trail with a vehicle. The Riverside Trail was opened in April 1997 to permit vehicle access to the Maclay Gorges area. The road down to the river shows the diversity of flora as you drop in elevation and visitors can experience groves of native hibiscus and get to see riverbank terraces shaded with large, fuzzy box. Bluff Rock Walk, 1. 5 km, 1 hour, medium difficulty, is reached by heading northwest from the visitor area across a gully and up the hill to the management trail which leads to the top of the bluff rock, overlooking the river and across to Paradise Rocks. Activities, swimming, hiking, fishing and photography. Facilities, 13 campsites, toilets, picnic tables, electric-slash-gas barbecues, wood barbecues, firewood supplied. The Hall's Peak Camping Area is located off Raspberry Road, east of Armadale. The very steep Ford WD Trail, suitable only for vehicles with a low range, continues on down to a good camping area on the Chandler River. The new facility consists of 13 camping sites with pit fires, tables, barbecues and toilets. There are several mines in this area and the Hall's Peak Mine may be seen from near the camping area. The Udales Hut is an historic pioneering timber slab walled hut that was built in the 1930s on a small pastoral run established in the Kundurong Gorges. Alan Udale is believed to have been guided here by an Aboriginal man, and he then settled here in circa 1939. This camping ground is approximately 96 kilometers from Walka and can be accessed via Kangaroo Flat Road, which leaves the Oxley Highway 55 kilometers from Walka. The trail is narrow and steep and a 4WD with low range is necessary. Trailers are not permitted. Access is also possible via Karai Road, Coachwood Road and the Racecourse Trail from Kempsey or the Hastings Forest Way and Racecourse Trail from Port Macquarie. Visitor numbers are limited so bookings are essential. A permit and key is necessary to gain entry to this area and they may be obtained from Apsley Motors or the Park Office, Walka. The area caters for both picnickers and campers, with wood barbecues, toilet and interpretation display at the hut. It's ideal for picnics, swimming and short walks. The East Kundurong Homestead The East Kundurong Homestead is set on the banks of the Maclay River, 112 kilometers east of Armadale via Woolamami and the Kempsey Road. Access to the homestead is along steep gravel roads and a 4WD is required along with a permit. This historic homestead built in the 1890s, of solid cedar throughout, was once the center of a grazing empire. It has now been carefully restored by the National Parks and Wildlife Service to provide comfortable and modern accommodation. Edward Fitzgerald's grave is uphill from the rear of the homestead near a clump of gum trees along the fence line. Edward was drowned in 1900 while returning on horseback from the mail run. The homestead may be booked for up to 10 people for a minimum of two nights. Mary's View, a lookout situated on a bluff about 3 kilometers southeast of East Kundurong Homestead, has perhaps the best view of any lookout of the Maclay Gorges. This lookout can be accessed as a day walk from East Kundurong. From here you have a 300-degree view almost from Point Lookout in New England National Park near Dorigo back to Mummel Gulf National Park near Walka. On a clear day you can see Mount Duval near Armadale, more than 70 kilometers away. A 4WD vehicle is needed to access Mary's View, from outside the National Park, and it is at least a 7-hour return trip from either Walka or Armadale and onto the Karai Tableland. There is no vehicle access from East Kundurong. The Bicentennial National Trail for walking and horse riding passes from Cedar Creek on the edge of Werakim National Park past Udale's Hut via East Kundurong to George's Junction on the Armadale to Kempsey Road, which is a distance of some 75 kilometers through the National Park. The track is mostly unmarked but follows Kundurong Brook as it descends into the Maclay Pass to East Kundurong Homestead in Oxley Wild Rivers National Park. The walk takes at least five days and all food and equipment has to be carried in there are numerous creek and river crossings, with some steep ascents and descents. 
This route generally takes at least four days to ride, and can be impassable after rain, check with Armadale or Walka NPWS for details. Huts at left hand and middle yards are managed for their cultural heritage value, but are available for use while on the National Trail. The historic, remote middle yards hut, located on Kundurong Brook deep within Oxley Wild Rivers National Park, has been restored to its original condition by the NPWS. A holding yard for horse trekkers was constructed here. Along with a hitching rail, period furniture inside the hut, an outdoor barbecue and new water tank. Horses are not permitted at East Kundurong Homestead. The Gara Gorge, near Armadale The Gara Gorge is located 18 kilometers southeast of Armadale along the Castle Doyle Road off the Waterfall Way just east of Armadale. The remains of Australia's first public hydroelectric scheme can be viewed here. Gara Gorge is a picnic area with tables, drinking water, toilets and gas barbecues. Known for scenic bush strolls and the Blue Hole which is commonly used for swimming. The 5-kilometer Threlfall Walk follows the route of the historic 1894 hydroelectric scheme, along old embankments and through ancient cuttings, to a lookout platform high above the river. Crombie's Cave, the longest granite cave in Australia at 832 metres, can be found in the next small creek, Powers Creek, an easy walk to the south of the Blue Hole. As the creek flows under the fence from the surrounding grazing country, within 20 metres it begins its journey underground to come out 832 metres downstream. The cave can be accessed from here and negotiated for at least half its length. It contains very beautiful granite sculptures, namus and potholes, some big caverns and a small sandy beach near the lower exit. A climb down a small waterfall and a curbing squeeze can be difficult for some to negotiate. The exits downstream can be difficult to find from the outside. The most significant introduced species are giant paramata grass, lantana, prickly pear, blue heliotrope and blackberry. Lantana was widely distributed in warmer lower areas of the park and also invaded rainforest thickets, where it has affected world heritage values. Burrs of the Xanthium SPP are found on river flats, banks and associated tributaries. Blackberry, giant paramata grass, lantana and sweetbriar are being controlled using herbicide. Spraying results have been encouraging but follow-up spraying is imperative to ensure long-term effectiveness. The release of the cactus moth Cactoblastis cactorum within the park has facilitated the biological control of prickly pear. Brumbies on the Chandler River feral cats and foxes occur in moderate numbers and can impact on native fauna. Wild dogs occur in the park and include dingoes, hybrids with domestic dogs. The National Parks and Wildlife Service give assistance to nearby landowners with respect to the control of these canine species. Wild dogs are controlled using a combination of methods, including baiting, aerial shooting and cooperative fencing with neighbors. Feral pigs have a large impact on the park and cause ground disturbance that encourages soil erosion and weed invasion. Pigs are trapped, poisoned and are also controlled with ground and aerial shooting. Feral goats are confined to the upper Chandler, Styx, Oki, and Apsley rivers. They compete with the threatened brush-tailed rock wallabies for food and shelter. The goats are controlled using ground and aerial shooting. Over 100 head of feral horses have been passively trapped in the Apsley catchment then rehomed. Thanks for watching.